Oh, hello, so today uh, I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on like um, an inwards warp. So I already have my clips uh, synced up and I trimmed down my song in my clip. So I'll show you what I have. Uh, and by the way, I didn't do velocity yet. And the song I'm using is poverty. So, uh, let's do our velocity. And so, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this, so I have room. Um, okay. So, what you wanna do, resync it all. And I'm also gonna change my 200 to 400. Again, just mess around with your velocity till uh, you like it. I, I think that looks good. So, what you want is you want to go here. You want to take your magnet off. Um, get rid of your return. So you want to cut right on your um, beat drop here, and you want to go uh, bring your retime up for the first clip, and you want to see where the um, the slow field the 50% ends so I'm gonna cut here too so on this clip you're gonna want to go into fusion at the bottom right here shift space dent not this top one this one and double click that and so you have the bottom dent you want to change dent type to dent 2 and uh, at the beginning you're gonna want to make the size I'm gonna bring the size all the way down to around like 0.63 and then at the end here you're gonna want to keyframe it again and uh, just click and edit it yourself and you want to make it to 1.2 like that and so uh, on your first keyframe you want to keyframe your strength at uh, like I'd say three one like right on there and then at the end here you want to keyframe your strength at around point two so now we have this and because uh, it's fusion, it'll take a while for it to render. But oh, there you go. And then also to make it look uh, not so linear, you want to make it an exponential curve. So you want to go up top right in your fusion spline. You want to click up here. Then you want to check the dent and uh, control scroll wheel to zoom out. And you want to drag your cursor over all of them and it'll select them you tap s on your keyboard and that uh, control scroll wheel to go in so you look on the left you see size is the purple line so we want it to get big rather quickly and you want it to peak out somewhat like this and then on your strength you want it to be a curve like that so try to copy my graph for size and strength here pause the video if you need but that's what you want control s to save your work and so and so after we're just gonna add some basic kill effects um, I'm gonna add and S underscore glow. Here. Uh, this is Sapphire, by the way. So I'm just using a preset that I have. Wait for the preset browser to load. And there's one more thing we're going to add uh, to the dent effect. We're going to change the opacity. And 
can make it look pretty cool. So, I'm just doing this. Keyframe. Obviously, you can do whatever effects you want on your um, after kill. It's sapphire, so it's going to lag. But what we want to do here is we want to go in the beginning of your little dent clip. You want to keyframe your opacity here. And then at the end, you want to keyframe your opacity at around like 60, I'd say. So, so it goes dark. And then also, you're going to want to go to open effects. And this is personal preference. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But search up edge. You get edge detect. Drag that onto this clip and go open effects. Change RGB edges to grayscale. Keep the color on white. So spot and tile. Hit OK. And on the first frame, you want the blend like that. On the last frame right here, you want the blend like this. And if you're not getting smooth playback like me, go to proxy mode, turn it to quarter resolution. It'll make it blurrier, but get smooth playback and you can add whatever um, like uh, shakes you want to the second end of the clip but that's about it so hopefully this helped you guys out and uh, should I end up looking something like this